The weak-willed West is conspiring to sell out Ukraine. American and European leaders have tired of Kyiv's demands, and are ready to betray Zelensky's fighters. By Con Coughlin, Defense, and Foreign Affairs Editor, Writing for the Telegraph Media Group. Published, November 16, 2023. If Israelis want to know just how much they can rely on the West's continued support for their war against Hamas, they need to look no further than the shameful betrayal that is taking place over Ukraine. At present, the only serious pressure being placed on Benjamin Netanyahu is the requirement for so-called humanitarian pauses to ease the flow of aid to Palestinian civilians caught up in the fighting. Demands for Israel to implement a ceasefire are, for the moment at least, being resisted by the American and British governments on the grounds that any cessation in hostilities would only benefit Hamas terrorists, who would use it as nothing other than an opportunity to regroup. Yet, as the Ukrainians are discovering to their cost, Western support can be fickle, especially when it looks as though military operations are not achieving their objectives. Israeli commanders are well aware that one misplaced bomb on a children's ward in a Gaza hospital is all it would take for their allies to abandon support for the campaign to destroy Hamas's terrorist infrastructure and pressure the Israelis to end the fighting. Compared with the historical complexities of the Gaza conflict, Ukraine's fight for survival against Russian aggression appears much more straightforward. This explains why, from the moment Russian President Vladimir Putin ordered his forces to fully invade his southern neighbor 21 months ago, the West has been almost unanimous in condemning Moscow and supporting the heroic efforts of Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky to save his nation from Russian occupation. Wars are, by their very nature, costly and inconvenient, especially in terms of their negative impact on the global economy. The Gaza conflict, so long as it is confined to the narrow strip of scrubland on the shores of the eastern Mediterranean that is home to two million Palestinians, is unlikely to disrupt global energy markets to the same extent as Russia's invasion of Ukraine, which caused a dramatic spike in prices. Given the broader threat Putin's aggression poses, Western military support for Ukraine has been motivated as much by the desire to give the Russian military a bloody nose as the principle of defending territorial integrity. Even so, with the head of Ukraine's military conceding that his country's much-anticipated counteroffensive is failing to make significant progress, Western leaders suddenly appear to be far more interested in ending the conflict as soon as possible. Already, a major factor in Ukraine's failure to make better progress has been the reluctance of European and American leaders to supply Kyiv with the long-range missiles, tanks, and warplanes it requires to achieve a decisive breakthrough of Russia's defensive lines. Even though the Biden administration belatedly gave its approval for Ukraine to be given US F-16 fighters, the first warplanes are not due to arrive until next year, with others scheduled for delivery in 2025. The Ukrainians must be truly underwhelmed by the lack of urgency being displayed by their Western allies. Of more concern for Zelensky will be reports that some Western capitals are keen for Kyiv to give serious consideration to the terms of a potential peace deal with Moscow. Reports suggest that US discussions have recently been initiated with the Ukrainian government about broad outlines of what Ukraine might need to give up to reach a deal with Russia. This follows the admission by Italian Premier Giorgio Maloney who, responding to a prank phone call, said there was a lot of fatigue over Ukraine, and that she had some ideas of her own for finding a way out. Zelensky has dismissed talk of doing a deal with the Russians, insisting, for us now to sit down with Russia and talk and give it something, this will not happen. The brutal truth, though, is that, with Washington and its allies tiring of their seemingly open-ended military support for Kyiv, Zelensky may have no option, especially if the firm political foundations that have sustained his defiant stand against Russian aggression begin to erode. In Washington, the Biden administration has little interest in the conflict continuing into next year with a presidential election. In Ukrainian political circles, questions are being asked about whether Zelensky, who was scheduled to face re-election soon, is the right man to lead the country during the next phase of the war. In short, efforts are well underway in both the US and Europe to betray the sacrifices of the Ukrainian people because Western leaders have tired of supporting them. 
If a worthy cause like Ukraine can be so readily sacrificed for political expediency, so can Israel's existential struggle against Hamas. Telegraph Media Group Limited 2023. This podcast was brought to you by BG Media App and BarGlobal.net. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. It does help support our productions. Also, please download the BG Media app to access the best works of the world's authors rendered in audiobooks, along with great experience through music, podcasts, and vodcasts. Thank you.